Greetings, peace and blessings, everyone. How are you? Happy Thursday. Thursday is Jupiter's day. Okay, so Jupiter is currently in Capricorn at the 24th degree of, uh, Jupiter is currently at the 24th degree of Capricorn. And before I get into that, let me give you an invitation, first of all. So first, I would love to invite you all to come and get readings. Um, natal chart readings, new full moon readings, um, just to really help you gauge where you are. Many of us are more self-aware and self-conscious and we can access that energy on our own, access the knowing of where we are. Like it's, you know, it's kind of like a map. Your astrology is like a map and it says, I am here. And so if you are not where you're supposed to be, which I talk to people constantly, <laughs> always, who are a little bit need a little tweak or a little something just because they don't understand astrology and, and they can feel that something is off and then I can support them in really getting getting in the direction where they're supposed to be. And so it's my pleasure to do that. So I invite you to that. But also the Mars Retrograde class. The Mars Retrograde class is, um, you can find it in my link tree here. You can find everything in my link tree or at my website, which is MoniqueRuffin.com. But Mars Retrograde is about claiming your identity, like who you truly are at your core. And the Mercury Retrograde is about navigating through your shadow, like really understanding the power of navigating through your shadow, which I'm telling you guys is a beast. I have been navigating mine since... I have been navigating mine for a really long time, but this last month with the sun in Scorpio has been really supreme to help me see the parts of myself that are filled with fear and anxiety and worry and jealousy and envy and just all that stuff. And it's up and, you know, it takes a lot of courage to be able to look at your shadow, to be able to be willing to see yourself without judgment, with the eyes of love and compassion and generosity for yourself so that you can navigate that energy and transmute it into something else because that's all the shadow is. It's the energy. It's the power for us to transmute. And many of us, because we are in this Western culture and we've not been raised in alignment with cycles and the things that are really natural order, we have a big, deep shadow. <laughs> and that shadow is keeping us from being who we're supposed to be. So I would love to work with you to support you in that. And the Mercury Retrograde class is wonderful for that. Really, I encourage you to do it. So today, like I said, Jupiter is at the 24th degree of Capricorn. And the 24th degree is the degree of humility. There's this book that I'm reading called The, the Invisible Garment, and it's an incredible book. But it, it talks about the numbers and the numerology. And this feels like the most um, aligned way for me to talk about it. So the 24th degree is humility. So with Jupiter at the 24th degree, which is such a fascinating thing because Jupiter is all about exuberance and bigness and, you know, expansion and, um, and you know, just exploring and like I said, adventure and joy and all of this. But at the 24th degree, it comes to the space of humility. And the thing about humility is that it's important to understand that we are a part of something. That every, even though we are fantastic and fabulous and unique and all of that, our uniqueness is in service to something greater than ourselves. It's in service to those who are around us. It doesn't make us better. It doesn't make us superior. It doesn't make us inferior. It means that we have value that is intrinsic to the whole. So what you're doing, who you're being at any moment is not only about you. It is about, it's how you're impacting others. It's about the energy that you're here to bring. Who you are has never existed before. Who you, what you have has never been um, cultivated before. What's inside of you has never been seen before, but it still is in service and connection to the greater good of everything around you. So Jupiter at the 24th degree says, yes, I'm fabulous. I'm joyful. I'm exuberant. I'm adventurous. I'm unique. I'm powerful. I'm amazing. And I am a necessary part of this experience that is impacting the totality of everyone. So Yes, be big and grand, but also be aware that you are a part of a greater functioning 
about a greater functioning system and the way you function impacts everyone else. That's not to say to put yourself away or put yourself down or to make yourself small. That's to say just to understand that you are a part of something greater and that it is not all about you. It's so interesting I um with arrogance. Arrogance is this thing that's so interesting and I was, you know, I always think of the sun and and how incredible the sun without the sun none of us would exist. Without the sun, you know, the sun is the center of the universe. It is the center of this universe. But there are countless universes that have other suns, bigger suns, greater suns. And even though the sun is so significant to our well-being, our, our, our expansion, the light and all of that, it wouldn't be itself if it didn't have Mercury. It wouldn't be what it is without Venus and Mars and, and you know, all of, without the constellations, the sun would not have the power that it has. And so even as the sun is incredible, it's still encapsulated in this greater universal thing, which is which holds it. it. It's even bigger than it. So, you know, be mindful of the tendency towards arrogance and, and feeling self-engrandized and um, like who you are isn't a part of something greater and that you're not, you know, there's a balance to strike, right? There's a balance to strike. So, yeah, so that's the humility and the arrogance piece. So be mindful of that today. Um, also, um, Jupiter is about our faith, faith in ourselves. And we truly need that now as we're watching the constructs of our social structures come undone. It's important for us to trust ourselves, to listen to ourselves, to, um, to be guided from within ourselves because we are paving a new pathway to, to our own humanity, you know, as, things shift and we see that the work, way we have been existing doesn't work any longer, isn't serving us any longer. You know, we have to trust in the voice within us. We have to trust in the divinity within us so that we can create a new reality. Ah, <sighs> okay. So the moon is at 28 degrees of Capricorn. Um, so we have Jupiter in Capricorn and the moon in Capricorn. And the moon in Capricorn is giving us this opportunity to really give birth to a new aspect of our, a new aspect of ourselves. Like who is it that we truly are here to be? And at this time, you know, it's like it could be really easy right now to get very frustrated because things seem um because things are coming undone and because we don't because what we once focused on and believed in is beginning to dissolve. But the 28th degree is a degree of love. And it's asking, you know, love is this, this, we think love is this romantic thing and it is not, it is not. Love is the thing that exists no matter what. It's just, you know, it's like, so it's like in this giving birth to yourself, like you don't really have a choice. You have to do it. And you will do it. it. The timing depends, you know, maybe you'll do it now or a little later. Maybe you'll go easily or maybe you'll be dragged, but you will give birth to a new aspect of yourself because that is what we're here to do on the planet at this time. There is no other way around it. You know, it's like as a woman, when you're pregnant and those of us who've been pregnant understand this, when that baby starts coming out, that baby is coming and there is nothing you can do to stop it. There is nothing you can do to thwart its um, to thwart its entrance into the world. I know when I was pregnant in labor, I labored for 17 hours and the doctors, my midwife came in at one point and was like, what are you doing? Because I was refusing to like really allow the labor process. They needed me to turn on this side and then on that side so that the baby's head could line up through the, through the um, cervix pr properly and come out. And I just refused to do it. And the lady was like, look, you don't have to do it. Like that baby coming out, we gonna, you gonna let it out, we gonna cut it out. So I did it. And so that's important for us to understand that in our agreements and our contracts in this human evolutionary experience that we're having right now, that's personal and collective, you will do what you are here to do. <laughs> Whether you are doing it because you desire it and you are joyful in it and you are willing to, or whether you do it 
being dragged and resistant and depressed and sad. It doesn't matter. It's one way or the other. Um, so that's the pop. That's what love is. Love says yes to everything. Love says. I'm here for it, you know, nothing, nothing can kill me, nothing can destroy me, you know, and it's like just knowing that you are an eternal being, you know, this body, this physical body is limited, but the soul that you are cannot be hurt, harmed, or in danger. So when you come from that space, whatever is in front of you is minute because it cannot meet your internality. You are an internal, eternal being. Um, you, it cannot meet your eternality and you are an eternal being. So whatever you're facing is not greater than you. Whatever you're facing cannot um, beat you because you have everything you need. You have eternity inside of you. So you're going to win no matter what. So you can, go, you can go being dragged or you can go joyfully, but no matter what, you're going. And the love within you is willing to go and maybe the ego is not willing to go but that's okay too, because the love inside of you can even embrace the ego that's saying no. So with that, register for the Mercury retrograde class and the Mars retrograde class. We still have about maybe two weeks or so with Mercury. Uh, we have through January with Mars and sign up for new moon readings or full moon readings or relationship readings. Oh, my favorite one to sign up for natal chart readings for your children <laughs> so that you can understand who they are and support them and really fulfilling their potential and their power um, and their what it is they're here to do. So with that, happy Thursday. I am the Moon Mama. Happy Jupiter's Day. I'll be back again tomorrow. I'm getting my kittens tomorrow. I'm so excited. Yay. Oh yeah. And this candle is from Ace of Moons. Okay. Bye-bye.